Hey guys. Throwback Thursday. Yes. And I promised that we were going to do a band that we haven't done before. So we're going to do Fudge Tunnel and the name of the song is great. Now, before we get started, a couple of things. Fudge Tunnel. Does that ring a bell? Like when you think of Fudge Tunnel, what do you think of candy? <laughs> candy? I mean, <laughs> in a weird way, it could be seen as candy. Uh, but no, uh, candy. Uh, really, candy? That's what you think of fudge tunnel. You think candy? Mm -hmm. Anyways, this band was really influential to me. Uh, they only have three albums. They had, they were around in the early nineties, like nineteen ninety 1990 to nineteen ninety four, around that time. But they were really influential to me. They're they're from England. Oh. So being, uh, you know, being Portuguese, growing up in Portugal, we got this music, and it became something that they kind of took me on a different path because that. At that time in my life, I was listening to a lot of thrash metal, and these guys were completely different from that. So I really wanted to share this band with you just to open your horizons to other stuff. They're not around anymore, oh. but, you know, um, one of their guys, Alex Newport, he went on and he did a side project with Max Cavalier from Sepultura called Nail Bomb, which we haven't checked on the channel yet, but we will. We said we were going to. We will, because I really like Nail Bomb, because Nail Bomb is a mixture of, of Sepultura's thrash metal, with these guys, which is more like a punk. There's more of a punk vibe to it, oh. right? So it's a mixture of thrash metal with punk. That's Nail Bomb. These guys are more punk, alternative, you know, sludge. Like, there's a bunch of the in industrial, if you will. There's a lot of different mixtures. These guys were really in the forefront of that movement around that time in the early 90s. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay.
By the way, where did you, do you think I saw this video for the first time? Headbangers Ball. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Every video on Zoomback Thursday. <laughs> so, what did you think of Fudge Tunnel? I like the bass. That's one of the reasons I, I mean, two reasons I picked this song, really. One was because this is the song that introduced me to the band. I, I had never heard of the band. I saw this video and automatically fell in love with, with it. it. It was like... It was a heavier, more aggressive version of Nirvana, if you will. Yeah. If you will, you know what I mean. So, and at that time, I was listening to a lot of Nirvana, but this was the song that introduced me to the band. That was reason number one, and reason number two is because of the bass. The, ba the bass is killer in this song. You hear it a dun, lot, dun, and it's. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. I love that because the guitar drops down. He's just singing, and he has like this really melancholic voice. Yeah. So he's singing, and all you hear is the is the the, the drums keeping the bass line and and the bass. Boom, 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 boom. But it's always building up towards yeah. the chorus. The chorus yeah. is super violent. You know what I mean? And then there's the part when he grabs the guitar before the solo, and he does that feedback against the amp, and he's just scratching, and it's just like noise coming through. So, it's so punk. It's so youthful. It's so rebellious you know against the system so besides the bass sorry i completely sidetracked you there besides the bass what did you think i, was... I, I gotta say the bass from the bass was like the we're rubbing the, we're rubbing shoulders <laughs> was one of the highlights of the song his voice was really good too and yeah it did remind me of nirvana a little bit um and those two together were really good and i did like how after like the solo or after the chorus he would drop in he just starts singing the bass would come in and then right when the soul right when the chorus came back then he just picked up the guitar again. Yeah, playing. it was like the, the chorus was packed such a punch. Yeah. Because that bass line was so mellowed out and his voice is so drawn out. And then when the guitar comes in, it's just like, roof. It's just like, it, it really like, it's just a burst of energy into yeah. that song. I, I honestly, I really like, I really like, the, I like these guys, but I really like this song. I thought to me, if you're going to be introduced to a band like this, especially because they're not around anymore, but I really want you to, broaden your spectrum as far as bands are concerned and go back and listen to some of the older stuff. I think these guys is one of those guys that you, you have to listen to them at least once just to see, you know, because they're kind of like, they were important in that time period for the music that they created and, and they influenced other bands, you know what I mean? So yeah. I thought it was cool for you to check them out. All right, on that note, we will talk about Fudge Tunnel and the meaning behind the word Fudge Tunnel off camera because we want to keep this a family show, if you will. I mean, I'm sure there's kids watching. So we'll talk about that later. But uh, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos tomorrow for you. See you guys. See you guys.